This is the first exhibition in Key Close Spaces, which is an amazing place. It's a multi-dimensional experience for people to get a deeper understanding of interesting cars and wonderful art. And I'm very honored and very blessed that this is the first show of many. I'm just very grateful that, you know, the full collection is, is here and hung and ready to be seen. I think the works in this gallery space and, and the gallery as a whole, I mean, obviously art is incredibly unique and some of the amazing cars that are in here, you could class them as the apex of, of, of automobiles, to be honest. So with this show in particular, there's a massive comparison to be had. Where these works sit alongside my other works and a lot of the subjects that I focus on are on the critically endangered list and we are in a very precarious position in the sense that if we don't do something, a lot of the things that we know and love, elephants, tigers, chimpanzees, you know, they are all critically endangered. And there is a really good chance in our lifetime that some of these creatures will end up just images and photographs and depictions of and not being alive. Ever since being a small boy, I've been incredibly obsessed with dinosaurs. You know, I used to draw them endlessly as a child and all the way through my life, they've been in the back of my mind to make a series on. The first time I saw them was in a, in a Panini album and there was these amazing drawings of these incredible creatures. And then the second time I saw them was in Liverpool Museum where you actually saw skeletons. And obviously being a tiny little kid, to be confronted by them was just, mind-blowing and I've never really lost that. You take something like the T-Rex, I mean, which is obviously one of the, the fan favorites, I suppose. It's an incredible looking thing. And when you see that amazing skeleton, there's a brilliant one that's in Berlin, the most complete skeleton in the world. And you can basically see from that how heavy it would be, how big its legs would be. And that kind of really set me off on the drawings and looking at elephants, looking at rhinoceroses. And then even though I could draw all of these from memory, from the, the lifelong obsession of drawing them as a child, there was quite a lot of research that I had to do. So, you know, I'd go and look at a lot of skeletons, do a lot of drawings, look a lot of textures and things. So it was a, a massive process to get them to look the way that they do. There's quite a lot of incredible scientific journals. That, I mean, I turned into a proper nerd, if I'm honest with you. So even like the pigmentation and the colors that you can kind of see are all based on specimens and things that have been taken where they can actually pinpoint how things would be. So that was kind of really important for me to get that in there. I didn't really look at any films or anything like that. I didn't want to go down that path. I didn't want any artistic license from say Jurassic Park to overwhelm my inspiration and my interpretation of what I wanted to do. So once the drawing started, I had to really focus on the physicality and then the physicality would come through the paint and then you, hopefully the weight and the kind of presence would, would appear. You know, I'm 52 now and I remember distinctively old school galleries, you would go to the opening and if you could afford it, you'd buy the catalogue. There was no internet, there was nothing. So when an artist revealed a body of work, it was a big deal. And that seems to be lost these days with instantaneous gratification with social media and stuff like that. So. I was basically working two series. I was working what I was doing at the time and then behind the scenes, I was working on these. I wanted that to be just an explosion of, of surprise and that's what the intention was. I mean, sadly, we were in a very strange place three years ago. So when they launched, nobody got to see them. So coming in here and seeing them for the first time in three years is a really special moment. I'm a very, very, very big critic of what I do and there is absolutely nothing in here that I would change. As a painter, you never stop learning and you never stop pushing forwards. And sometimes, you know, that makes your work look a little bit different or some things are left. But these, you know, are absolutely, um, I couldn't make them any better. So I'm very grateful for that. I really hope that people are moved by them and, and feel the kind of power and the presence and, you know, the dynamism of these things that I put my heart and soul into.